Hello, everyone. David Coleman, director of the Whitliff Collections at Texas State University, and welcome back to Whitliff Wednesday. I want to remind you all the Whitliff is open to the public by appointment only. Please see our website for details on the how to reserve your time and your parking spot. Now, for this week's episode, we look at the literary side of things and focus on a display we have out on one of our more recent literary acquisitions, the papers of the pioneering author from El Paso, Texas, John Retchie. Here is Steve Davis, our literary curator, to tell us more. Thank you, David. And it's good to talk to you all about John Retchie, a major American author, a groundbreaking figure in gay literature and Chicano literature. Retchie was born a first-generation Mexican-American in El Paso in 1931. In 1963, he published his first novel, City of Night. This was a breakout book. It's the story of a gay street hustler. And for many gay Americans, it was the first time they could see themselves reflected in the literature. The book became a surprise bestseller, and it really launched Retchie into the realm of being considered a folk hero. Uh, the influence of that novel has been profound. It's been in print ever since it was published. Uh, it's been translated into about 20 languages. But it's really the quality of Retchie's writing that has helped City of Night endure so well. This has been true throughout all of his work. He's published about 20 books now. He's a significant figure in Chicano literature, and much of that reputation rests on the strength of this uh, extraordinary book he's written called The Miraculous Day of Amalia Gomez. Retchie has uh, won all kinds of awards. Uh, he was the first novelist to win the Pen America Award for Lifetime Achievement. And his archive is extraordinary. Uh, Retchie's archive is about 70 years worth of material. It comprises about 100 boxes. It includes this typewriter that he was renting when he was working on City of Night. Uh, once he got paid for the book, he was able to actually go ahead and purchase the machine. You'll also find in his archive the famously rewritten galley proofs for City of Night. That book was actually on its way to the printer when Retchie intercepted the proofs and decided that he needed to rewrite that novel one more time. There's also his uh, leather jacket and his boots. That was part of his uniform that he wore during the years that Retchie was cruising. Retchie's archive is really just an incredible treasure trove. And I should say that his work has been the object of intense scholarly interest. There have been about 35 dissertations and master's theses done on Retchie, uh, three published biographies, and all of that work has been done without the benefit of his literary papers being available. So we've been hearing from scholars all over the world now who know that we have Retchie's archive here at the Whitliff. It's currently being processed by our archives team and we're looking forward to being able to share it with the rest of the world. Thank you all for tuning in to Whitliff Wednesday and we'll see you down the road. Take care. <laughs>